Hey, Tim DeStasio here, and it is Psychrometric Saturday once again, and we've been spending a lot of time talking about supply air diagnostics using dry bulb and dew point. And we've got a couple of service calls yet to run. So let's first talk about what we want to see, our desired conditions when we put our air probes in our return grill and our supply register. Typical design temperatures is going to be somewhere around 75 degree dry bulb and 60 degrees dew point. Of course, we can move this probe from the grill and put it closer to the unit and we should not see that much of a difference in dew point. If we do see that, we've got duct leakage that we need to address. Now on the supply side, it is recommended that we first start off reading our supply register conditions. So we're going to stick that probe up into a register and typically we want to see somewhere between 50 and 55 degree dry bulb and 50 to 55 degree dew point. Now now let's take a look at how that looks on the chart. We of course are operating somewhere in the middle here of our comfort zone that we've already talked about. And our supply temperature is all the way down here close to our saturation curve. Not only do we have a nice gap between our dry bulb temperatures, that means that we're doing a lot of sensible cooling. We're removing sensible heat, we're taking away from the dry bulb temperature, we're cooling the air down, but it also means that we have a nice gap between our return dew point and our supply dew point. That gap tells us that we're removing a lot of moisture. Now let's say that we go on a service call and the complaint is that the humidity seems to be okay, but the unit just cannot bring the house down to temperature. What does that mean? Well, again, we're going to use these probes and only these probes to narrow down the possibilities. Okay, so here's the points that we plot. On our return side, we've got 80 degree dry bulb and 60 degrees dew point. What does that tell us? Well, 80 degrees is a little bit warm, especially if they're trying to maintain around a 75 degree temperature in the house, but a 60 degree dew point isn't that bad. Now let's go ahead and put our supply probe in. It's reading 70 degrees dry bulb and 52 degree dew point. Now, what do you notice about that? Well, that 70 degree dry bulb seems very, very warm. And notice that we only have a 10 degree sensible drop, but that 52 degree dew point really doesn't look all that bad. And we have a nice healthy gap between our return dew point and our supply dew point. Also note that our supply air conditions is way off from the saturation curve. Remember that we want this dot to be somewhere hovering close to our saturation curve, but we're not anywhere close to it. So we've got a very poor temperature drop, but we have a very healthy drop in moisture. What could be the problem? Well, it's not a problem with the cooling coil. Our co cooling coil is getting cold enough because we're able to remove that moisture. The problem is something is heating that air back up. So here's how we screen for a supply duct gain. We need to move this probe over here to the supply plenum, just like we screened for return duct leakage here. By moving this probe from the supply register to the supply plenum, we are doing a supply duct gain screening. We're not doing a leakage screening, it's a supply duct gain screening. So let's say that we take the same probe and we move it over here. Let's see what we find out when we do that. Okay, we've moved our supply probe from our supply register to our supply plenum, and look what happened. Our air temperature went down to 52 degrees. We're operating really close to our saturation curve. What happened? Well, this duct picked up a ton of heat. Well, what could have caused that? Well, a couple things can cause that difference in temperature between this point and that point. We could simply be running that duct through a really hot space like an attic with not enough insulation. Now, I'm just going to tell you from experience, we are probably not going to be picking up a bunch of heat like 15 degrees to 20 degrees just from that. But if you pick up any more than just three or four degrees between this point and this point when you're doing that test, chances are your ducts are going through a really hot space and they don't have enough insulation in them and we're just losing energy that way. But when we see a drastic difference between our supply plenum and our supply outlet like a register, then chances are we have some kind of reheat on. So let's say there may be a hydronic coil here. We may have hydronic heating in this system and we may have a hydronic coil that is just trickling a little bit of hot water past the control valve and it's just enough to bring the temperature of that air up 
by the time it comes out of this register. Now, if we still read really warm temperature here, then we could have, if this is like a heat pump with an electric strip heat, we may have our electric strip heaters on inside the air handler. In that case, we would wanna check for that. So it is never really normal for us to have a really high supply air temperature while still maintaining a really good dew point. Chances are something is heating that air up past the cooling coil. That's all we're gonna to get to today. Thanks for watching Psychrometric Saturday.